Okay, so we're talking today, how do we maximize range of motion with something like a single arm row with a dumbbell? A movement that you see nearly every single time you go to any gym, commonly done for one incorrectly, but even sometimes when you see it done with proper form, again, there's that extra couple inches of range of motion that we can unlock that's gonna unlock whole new levels of mobility, overall joint, ligament, and tendon health, and just overall more strength in long range, long range positions. And so, for us, we both train jujitsu. I do a lot of other things outside of that. Being strong in random long range positions, a lot of time outside of a, a linear plane, is gonna be very important. So basically, wherever I can take my arm, the longest position away from my body possible I can take my arm is where we're trying to build strength today with this movement. And this is a great way to make something like a single arm row harder if maybe your gym doesn't have heavy enough dumbbells, maybe you know you just want to get more mobile in general, this is a great alternative. So for myself, if I'm doing a traditional row, say like off a rack here at the gym, you know, I might be doing anywhere from 150s to 200s. And so although the overall weight is good and to some might be impressive, we can lessen the weight increase the range of motion and get my short to long range strength to even out and then over time if i'm able to still do those 150s to 200s at a whole new range of motion then it's going to be much more impressive so let me show you what i'm talking about so first grab a box anything to elevate your feet above the ground this is essentially what we're going to be working with here so picture myself holding a dumbbell i'm going to have my arm supporting myself my free leg just like this this is gonna keep the majority of the weight off of my back, my lower back specifically, because it's more of an upper back exercise, obviously. What we're gonna be doing here, whereas a traditional row will probably be going from here to here, and like most people do, they're like yanking it and jerking it. With something like this, it's kind of hard to do that due to the fact that if you do much yanking, too much yanking and jerking, especially with a heavier weight, I'm literally gonna fall forward. So this elevation nearly forces you to be much more strict with your forms. That's another reason why I like it. Now, we add the height on, under our feet for the purpose of taking the weight, stretching past our feet here so that my, my lat is in, is in long as long of a position as possible here. Because I'm not just stretching down, I'm stretching down and across my body. You'll see some rounding in my lower back, which we'll come to find in the other videos. It's not a bad thing but I'm rounding my lower back to get a little bit more range of motion here, but it's okay because I have my arm here bracing to manage that load. So don't worry about that too much. We're gonna take that dumbbell, reach down and across. Again, we're protracting our shoulders to feel that, that stretch across our entire lat here, even across that side of my back. To row it back up to our pocket here like this, keeping our chest square to the ground, but bringing our elbow as high as possible. That's the overall goal. What we've come to find is that this is gonna be a lot more difficult than your traditional row, so your weight might decrease the whole, you know, 50% less than what you normally do, which is totally okay. We're aiming for, I mean, for me, generally anywhere from eight to 12 reps each arm. Okay, so we're gonna have Irvin give it a shot with the 40s. Okay. So how much do you normally row in the gym if you're doing single arm rows? To be honest, if I'm gonna do single arm rows, probably like at least 80 pounds like minimum, but I could probably do between like 100 to like 115 pounds. Uh, but then again, like Jimmy said, like it's gonna be with like a lot more momentum and I'm sacrificing a lot more range of motion to probably fulfill some sort of like deep down ego of like, oh, I gotta row like the big dogs kind of kind of sense. So, um, but I do have the 40s here um, to help elongate that range of motion to get that full benefit. So we'll give it cool. a shot. See, see what you got. Keep in mind, our recording is 100% like organic here. This is his first time trying it. We're not practicing before we record because I want to give you guys a honest interpretation of his first time doing this movement and how myself as a coach is going to correct him through it. So this is pretty good. Let's stretch a little bit more across. Really let your arm just dead hang here. Like stretch and feel that, that pull across here this way. There we go. Good. <clears throat> Good. <clears throat> Good. Deep stretch, dead hang. Like no tension in the back right now. Then, then pull it straight. There it is. Oh, Good. Man. Good. <clears throat> Good. <clears throat> Very nice. So that was very 
very good for his first time. What I'm going to point out here when I go is how he counterbalances his weight so that he's not tempted to fall forward with the weight, even if he's not cheating. So right here, similar to a deadlift, I'm going to be loading my hips backwards. So you're going to see my shins vertical and my hips reach backwards towards the wall here. This hand supporting as we talked about. And so now when I'm doing this, it's not uncommon to feel some activation in your hamstrings and glutes, not necessarily because you're working them in a sense that you're trying to get strong in this position, but your hamstrings and glutes do have to be contracted a little bit just to make sure that you don't fall forward here. If the majority of my weight's on my toes, that weight at a certain point, especially as we get heavier, is probably gonna pull me off the box, so keep that in mind. <clears throat> Here, feet together, brace yourself, weight back, stretch down deep, pull up to your pocket. I'm even turning my body slightly to get a further stretch across my lat here. Of course, you want to do this with light weight first, get your body adjusted, build strength there, and then go up in weight. <clears throat> 